Welcome to another short and simple answers video, where I'll try to maximize the quality of information presented and exclude rambling and storytelling. Planning trail meals should accomplish these following goals. Please practice leave no trace principles to protect nature and keep the wilderness wilderness for people who come after you to discover and enjoy. It's always great to come to an area and feel like you're the first one who has been there, even though others have passed that way before. The principles listed here deal with meal preparation, consumption, and cleanup. Please visit leave no trace at lnt.org for more great ways to keep the wilderness healthy and enjoyable for everyone. Here's what a nearly completed trail meal schedule will look like. It was developed in Microsoft Word. We'll come back to the whole schedule later. But first, let's take a look at it a piece at a time. For this trek, I'll be eating no-cooked meals and store-bought dehydrated meals. This combination will minimize equipment needed, time and resources to prepare, eat, and clean up afterwards. Meal menus are entered for each day in the order they will be prepared. Enter each food item including drinks such as Kool-Aid or cocoa that will be included in each meal. Some items listed here may not be available in your area. For example, poi and marlin jerky may not be available in Wisconsin. So feel free to substitute available items such as smoked salmon, prosciutto, quinoa, etc. Don't forget snacks. They can be eaten between meals along the trail to keep up energy levels, or to satisfy munchies, or as desserts. Each food item should be accounted for in this row by name and quantity. Ingredients such as oil and spices should also be included. Later, the items and their quantities will be tallied for a grocery list. All equipment needed for preparation, consumption, and cleanup should be listed here as they will be compiled in an equipment to bring list. Water should also be accounted for. Amounts for consumption and cleaning may be critical when no water source is available along certain sections of the trail. On the bottom of the schedule, you'll notice the shopping list. X is marked amounts that need to be calculated before shopping. There's also a reminder that for water estimates, you should remember that you'll need additional water to drink along the trail to keep hydrated. Here is the equipment I'll need to prepare and consume my meals. If weather conditions are forecast to be good, I may substitute an alcohol stove which will fit inside my drinking cup. Of course there are many options that could be adopted into meal schedules for future treks, and I will. But for this trek, there is only two water sources along the way. I'll arrive at the first midday on day two and the second at the end of day three so i want to keep meal prep and clean up simple and fast this is just a short list of possibilities for the future i hope you found this video interesting and helpful please adventure responsibly safely and have fun see you on the trail aloha